Good morning, minions. I come to bring you a message. Now, it is known that in a very short while, I, the Teflon superhero, will be moving. I am actually going to move and live and reside and stay and habitate and cohabitate and live with the Polite Horse, who you all know on my channel simply as Van. Now, let me give you a little brief history since y'all are our minions. And by the way, I love you minions very much and I am sorry that I have not been spending time with you. We will rectify this. The first, I must explain, because it seems some people think that um, Van is simply this person who has mysteriously appeared like a genie from a lamp. And no, I must explain the little tiny bit of back history. In 2006, the first thing Van said to me was, Holy shit, your fish's name is Jaws. That is so awesome. Since then, we have slowly built a friendship, and by slowly, I mean very slowly, because hello, it is now 2011. We've slowly built a friendship on being just weird. In the last year, year and a half, my life went to complete turmoil. And Vin, turns out, is a little bit of a stalker. Now, I have no problems with stalkers. I, in fact, think that stalkers make your best friends, because one, they already know everything about you. And two, they will shank a bitch to defend your honor. Stalkers are amazing. Anyways, we decided that, wow, we have a lot of com in common. And we, we do have this one similar goal, and that is to take over the world. She seems to have a small following of people, and I tend to have a very small following of people. And we figured, if we were to combine forces, and her minions would have to mingle with my minions, we would then have a double-sized force to which we could also use to expand, and should we both end up in the same area together, we could explode. And I don't mean explode in a bad sense, although that will be explained in a minute. We would explode outward, and maybe, maybe we could reach more people. And when we reach more people, then we would definitely be able to easy early, easierly take over the world. Now I'm sure you are aware, as you've read in your books, that there is the prophecy. If you haven't made it that far, the book simply stated that is if we enter an area closer than two states together, that the, that the universe will end, that we are too cute we are too awesome to be loud in the same vicinity that you know tremendous things will happen and the actual fabric of time will rip apart thus ending the world which is why we have stayed two states apart we decided this March to test the theory we discovered nothing happened so at least the prophecies aren't true well Although, she did end up in the hospital. And then, you know, there was that freak hailstorm that almost took us out. If I die, I just want you to know I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had no way to get back home, and then I had to take a bus at the last minute, and then there was this bomb and I couldn't go below 55 miles, but it, it was just coincidence. Just like it is coincidence that the day I firmly decided that we are going to start the process of me moving, there was suddenly these freak earthquakes and then a hurricane tearing up the entire East Coast. These are purely coincidence. These are not the prophecy fulfilling themselves that is going to be the end of the world should we cohabitate. I do realize there may be a tough time ahead of us if the prophecy happens to be true and that when I get settled, freakish 
nature acts start happening and people consider it the end of the world because I will have just moved 10 hours and I do not want to do it again. So no, I will not be moving. Even if even if Tornado Alley turns into God's Bowling Alley, it's not going to happen. Now, should the government find these books and think that there is a connection with me moving and these just un completely unrelated weather accidents and geological shakedowns, then it is your job as a minion to not agree. It is your job to say, I have no idea what you're talking about. This is including torture and up to death or death by massive diarrhea if you're being investigated and tortured in Mexico. You're not to give away our plans. This is your sacrifice as our minions, and you should love it. And by the way, if you're confused whether you are a minion or not, you you legally signed the document when you clicked the video. Um, it's down in the fine print, I'm sure that you saw that. Anyways, we just want to let you know that we do care about you as minions. Well, I do. At least. Um, I don't think Ben really cares. And we are so happy that you will be following me to my new home so that we may start the distri- The bettering. The bettering of the world. Until next time, I ask that you join us in prayer. I will ask that you make your hands in the form of a chakram and bow your head as I recite the prayer. Praise be to Xena, mighty warrior princess who leadeth us into battle and Queen Gabrielle of the Amazons for leading us to the light of greater good and dignity through love and peace. Give us the power to survive in a time of ancient gods and warlords and kings. Forge us through the heat of battle so that we may become a mighty warrior. In Callisto's name we pray. Kiyoi!